Hello everyone, welcome back to another Mid Journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to combine images, different images, and create a unique shot or a unique composite. So in this case, I've combined Deadpool. I'll show you the image. I've got Deadpool here. I've got Ryan Gosling, and I've got a old portrait of William Shakespeare, and I mashed them together. How do you do it? It's easy to do now. There was an old way where you had to upload them all independently. Now all you got to do is type in forward slash blend, and then hit space bar, and then when you do that, you're going to see it says image one, image two. You can actually do up to five images, and you can change the aspect ratio. I'm going to show you how to do it real quickly here. So I'm just going to go and grab some images. So I'm going to grab this one here of Ryan Gosling, and I just drop it right on top. It goes right there. Simple. Now I'm going to grab a portrait of William Shakespeare, and presto, we've got Shakespeare. Now I want more, so you actually can't really tell, but if you click on this plus four more, left click here, and you get some more options. I'm going to add an image three. You have a maximum of five images. So I'm going to click on image three, and presto, there I go. I can add another one. So let's go ahead and add in Deadpool. Why not, right? So we're going to grab Deadpool, drop it on top here. So these are my three images that I'm mixing and matching. Now before I do that, the one other thing you can do is you can go ahead and click on dimensions. It is automatically set to square, but if you click on it, and I just clicked it, you can actually change it to one of these three options. You can't type it in so much as you can just click on it. So I want I want landscape. So there we go. We've got three images combined, landscape, forward slash blend, hit enter. I'll come back when it's done, but that's all there is to it. All right, welcome back. Here's what it gave us. So here are four candidates, and it's done a pretty interesting job with it. The bottom thir the third one here is pretty good. The top one's pretty good. And uh, again, if you want to make variations, click on the V. If you want to upscale it or upsample it, click on the U. That's it, guys. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.